Now you said four years between your yeah. last studio album and this one, and we know you did some traveling. What else were you doing in those four years? Oh wow, um, I I had a, a gospel album out. Mm -hmm. um, it was released two years ago. We recorded a live gospel album, which was the most one of the most beautiful things I've ever done in my career because so many people were blessed by it, so many lives were changed by it, and. Then I got an even more confirmation that we all are here in this world to actually impact lives and to impart some kind of like positive, positiveness and hope into people's lives. The gift I have is not for me, I believe. You know, I have it, but I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to bless someone with it. I'm supposed to, to, to heal people with it. And, and that's what I've discovered, you know, in my in my four years of not recording jazz. I did it with jazz and then more so with gospel. And in that four years of, of, of my waiting, I did a lot of thinking, okay, how do I wanna strategize my career? So I left Sony Music and I went independent. That's when we did the first gospel album, which was under my own label. And now we have One Word. That's the title of my new album. It's called One Word under my own label. Those are the, th these are the kind of things I'm talking about. Just taking ownership of, of my life, which is awesome. You know, it had to happen now. It was not meant to happen at that time. I am grateful for everywhere I have been, every album I have ever recorded, and I'm even more so grateful for Sony Records because if I was not signed to them, I would not have been able to actually start thinking of coming out and becoming better. You know, because I think I'm actually becoming better having since I left them. And it's great. And it's okay to actually do something that you, you're afraid of. Yeah. Do that thing that you don't know how, where, where it's going to end. But if you believe in yourself and you believe you will do it and you're a hard worker, you can do it. What great advice. Yeah, definitely. Now, are you going to continue doing the gospel music? Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 definitely. You see, this album, one word is here now. Yeah. And it's gonna be here for a very long time. When I do shows, I get people asking for jazz and gospel now, which is awesome. And I automatically just go into, into both. Yeah. So uh, we'll have to do, we're recording a jazz, a gospel DVD and CD next year. It's great. Yeah, we have to do it in February. We'll be recording it in Joburg and hopefully by Easter next year we will have it out for our fans. And, but I cannot, now I have this thing that I've created, it's jazz and gospel. It's a lot of work for me, so which means I need to be in shape, I need to be healthy, so that's what love is all about. How are you staying healthy and in shape? I'm training, oh my, I joined the art of running. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah I did. I joined the art of running, oh it's madness. Is it madness? Oh, it's madness, you know, because, and I'm like, every morning, we wake up every morning at like 5.30, and then we run for about an hour, and our coach is so crazy, he doesn't even smile. Oh my yeah, god! No, he doesn't smile, he'll smile with you after, and then, I mean, if I remember when I started, I would run, I would be running, you know, behind, and he, when we get to the finish line, he'll say, you know, because Judith was the last one, and you guys left her, let's just do another one kilometer. You know, or maybe two kilometers, and they would all just be like, Judy! Oh, he's so mean! Yeah, so, good. so we'd be running, but let me tell you how that has taught me how to balance myself on hills. I mean, I can run very easily now on hills, and I can run. Every morning when I wake up, I just have to run because my body longs needs for it. it. My body needs it. I have to run in the morning. Even if I don't run, I must do something. What an inspiration, I mean, especially yeah. for me, because I can't run to save my life. <laughs> Were you like me before? I was worse. Really? Oh, I was eating and sleeping, eating, sleeping, and babies. Eating, sleeping, baby. Okay, mommy this, mommy that, mommy that. You know, that was my main focus. And then one day I switched it all. I said, you know what? I need to be able to still run after my kids. I want my kids to still look at me and say, mommy is this. Now they're telling me, you know, mommy, you are looking lovely. They love that. And it feels good to actually hear that from your children, you know. So I'm, I'm at a very beautiful place in my life and space. So running, training is really healthy. And I might not eat healthy all the time, but I do my best. 90% of my time, I do my best. I try to eat healthy. And I think it's really important. It is really important. It is so important because as we grow, you know, we, you, tell, you can tell when you're getting, when, as we grow that things are not becoming easy now. So you have to try and eat well.